At first glance, the two large spotted cats of Africa, the leopard and the cheetah, look similar, but they're different in build, behavior, and in the way they hunt. The cheetah is an animal of wide open spaces, most at home out on the plains. The leopard prefers to lurk in the shadows. It can live in deserts, mountains and swamps as long as there's cover. Both cats live in East Africa and are successful predators, but other than that, they have very little in common. Masai Mara is famous for its big cats, including the spotted variety. I've come here to discover what makes them so different. With the expert help of William Chepwani, a local guide, I soon had my first sighting of a leopard. The leopard differs from the cheetah in that the spots on its body join up to form rosettes. Its mottled coat perfectly mimics the dappling of light and shade where the leopard spends most of its life. The markings are so beautiful. It wouldn't be a good idea for me to get out right now. <laughs> if you go out now, but it can catch you. <laughs> he would. Leopards very occasionally kill people, but generally they go after easier prey. They're opportunists and eat anything from insects and mice to young buffalo or giraffe. They often use trees to spot potential victims. This time it's a Thompson's gazelle. Long grass and patches of bush are perfect hiding places for the leopard. It stalks as close as possible and then makes a short, swift charge. Unlike the cheetah, which when it misses gives up, the leopard keeps its head down, gets back into cover and keeps moving forward. The kill is made with a deep, powerful bite which punctures the skull. When our safari manager, Jock Anderson, heard where there was some cheetah, we headed for the plains to find them. So, I mean, I can actually see the difference. It, it is smaller than a leopard, isn't it? I mean, that's the first thing that you see. But yes, they're, they're actually um, lighter than a leopard, but not much lighter, but they are lighter. In colour, you mean? In, in weight. In weight? Mm -hmm. What are, what are the other differences? Well, you see how long the body is compared to... And a leopard also is very, very squat, much lower down, close to the ground. There's this cheetah with much longer legs. And it's faster than a leopard, isn't it? And a lot faster. The one thing you always learnt at school, the fastest animal. And then and she's how many got babies? How many babies would they have? They can have, have uh, three, four. If she manages to keep three, she's doing very well. This one's doing very well with three. They're not, what? they're not baby babies, though, are they? I mean, they look... No, no. No, they're, they're not quite two years old. I mean, they may be um, sort of 16 months old. And, How long do um, they stay with the mother? And they're going to stay with their mother up to two years. 
Unlike the leopard, which isn't fussy about what it eats, the cheetah almost always goes for Thompson's gazelles. You'll only find them where Tommies are most common. Its long, heavy-tipped tail and blunt claws that can't be retracted like a normal cat help to stabilise the animal as it sprints at speeds of up to 68 miles an hour. Closing in on its target, the cheetah then trips it with one of its hooked dew claws found on the inside of each wrist. Then, avoiding the sharp hooves, it clamps its jaws onto the animal's throat and suffocates it. The cheetah will drag the carcass under cover if possible to hide it from the eyes of scavengers. Females let their cubs feed first, but the cheetah's basic tactic is to eat as much as she can, as fast as she can. Vultures are a big problem for cheetahs. Whenever they come down to the ground, lions and hyenas know there's likely to be a kill and will head straight for it. The arrival of the first birds usually signals the beginning of the end of the cheetah's meal. Lions, leopards, jackals and baboons can all chase off cheetahs. Vulnerable and relatively frail, a cheetah can't risk fighting. A bite in a leg or foot could make it lame and unable to hunt successfully. <laughs> and much safer to go and catch another gazelle rather than face the male baboon's teeth. <laughs> These baboons are putting on a show for a leopard. But there's a difference in the essential spirit of these two cats. It took just two baboons to chase off four cheetahs. It takes just one leopard to frighten 40 baboons. She's forced back down, but she's made her point. So how would a baboon react on a one-to-one -one basis? <laughs> Point taken. I wasn't prepared to face one, let alone 40. From that moment, leopards went up in my estimation, especially when I later learned that a single male has been known to kill a full-grown elan the size of a bull. They also use their great strength to hang on to their prey in a way that no cheetah could hope to. They are so butch. They're a very solid animal. Well, when you think they've got to carry even more than their own weight up a tree, they've got to be pretty powerful to do that. What do they eat? Mainly Thompson gazelle is their favourite. Oh, it's the same then as the cheetah. Mm. But they go for little baby warthogs and... Oh, look, look, it's going up the tree. Oh, yes. Look. Oh, that's great. Wow. 
Would they take their, their um, kill up the tree as well? Yes. They would? Exactly that way. You imagine having to carry something up that, that slope of that tree. It's a long way before you get a proper grip of that uh, tree. How did it get up then? It's Does just, it hold it, on with its yeah. claws? They, they have it in their mouth and, and the animal they're carrying up is between their legs. Between their legs? Between their legs and, and under their body. And oh. it goes straight up the tree. Lodges it in a place. Just at times like this, you wish you had your camera. <laughs> that one in the tree is so beautiful. That silhouette. Look at it. But they do love to um, get up in trees and sleep in trees during the day when it's really hot. And of course, it catches all the cool breeze up there. It's very sensible. On a really hot day. If I didn't love them already, learning about their courtship would have won me over. Although the male is much bigger than the female, he is gentle and affectionate towards her. He needs to woo her, often for several days, before she will allow him to mate. We knew that there were three young male cheetahs somewhere nearby, and as we searched for them, I learned that they have a very different approach to sex. While leopards are loners, it's an advantage for male cheetahs to band together. Young males form a coalition that will last for life. In order to win females, the males have to mark out and hold a territory. A group of males is much more successful than a single animal. Solitary males are usually in poor condition and lead lives of quiet desperation, lying low to avoid rival gangs. The single male lies down submissively, but it doesn't save him. Badly wounded in the legs and stomach, this cheetah died 48 hours later, the penalty of being solitary. These males have picked up the scent of a female coming into season, and the chase is on. The female is nervous. She's not ready for their attention and tries to hide. For her, courtship appears to be a brutal affair, but it's important to trigger ovulation. Females in captivity that don't get this rough treatment often don't conceive. Within the National Reserve, you're not allowed to get out of your vehicle for obvious safety reasons. But when we found a female with cubs outside the park and with Jock's knowledge and expertise, I was able to have a really close encounter.
She couldn't see us, but she was very suspicious. I've never kept so still for so long. Every muscle in my body ached, but it was worth it. A cheetah can give birth to six cubs, but by three months of age, 90% can die. Victims of lions, hyenas, eagles, grass fires or starvation. But because they have such large litters, when conditions are right, a good number will make it. It was hard to tell, but it looked like this one had four. Leopards have fewer cubs than cheetahs, usually two or three. Small cubs are vulnerable to attack by hyenas and lions. But leopard cubs fare better than cheetah cubs because their mothers hide them in rocky crevices where they're safe. And, even at an early age, they're skillful climbers. When their mother goes hunting, they climb up a tree, staying out of reach of their enemies. At 18 months, young cheetahs set off on their own. Life is very difficult for them at first. Without their mother to kill for them, they can starve, even when surrounded by prey. To survive, they must take every opportunity to hunt, even when they're scared and puzzled by what's happening. The young cheetahs can't understand why the gazelles are failing to run away. How can they chase an animal that won't flee? But as soon as the gazelles make a move, the cheetahs instinctively chase it. The young cats haven't yet learned how to neatly trip their prey. The gazelle is twice the weight of each cheetah. It's too heavy to drag down and its horns are lethal weapons. But the youngsters are desperately hungry and in their inexperience will take desperate risks. Only by perseverance and the advantage of numbers do they eventually overcome their quarry. Only by luck do they escape injury. We were lucky too. After hours of searching, we eventually found the group of young males we'd been looking for. Well, we've, we've just come in closer and there's a lot of red down there. There's yes, meat. it looks rather like a Thompson gazelle to me. Small little eggs, you see. Yeah. So is that what they? Is that what they? Ooh. Oh. Uh, this is Thompson. wildlife for you. Nobody told me about this in wildlife filming. <laughs> yes. There's a Thompson gazelle uh, leg. Very little left on it. I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, they're the crunching bone. the bones. Do they eat the bone as well? Well, not really. No, they crunch them. They crunch. They eat the, the very oh. thin, slim ones. <laughs> <laughs> See, their tummies are quite full, so they've they've had quite a good meal. Oh look! 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 Look how close it is! Look! Look! Look how close! The way it walks. So See how graceful. slim the bodies are. Yeah. Long legs. Powerful back legs. And are they cleaning each other? Have they got any enemies? Um, all the cats hate each other. The lions hate 
leopard. Lions hate cheetah. So as far as they're concerned, they're all threat to each other. So they steer clear of each other, oh, very do. much so. Of course, the lion is the king of the beast, so he is dominant wherever he goes. Lions will kill any cubs they find. The cheetah hides her young in dense thickets and is careful to make sure she's not seen or followed when she visits them. She stays with them at night, visiting only briefly by day to feed them, hoping not to give away their hiding place. But that's exactly what's happened. She's been seen by a lion. If the cheetah simply walked off, the lion would probably do the same, but she's tense and concerned, which makes it curious. The lion's intrigued. It thinks she may have something hidden in the rocks. The cheetah has poor night vision, so she doesn't dare check on her cubs in the dark in case the lion is still there. After a restless night, she returns at dawn. The lion has killed three of the cubs. The fourth is missing, almost certainly dead. Their mother does not seem to understand what's happened and for a while she carries one of the small bodies around. Finally, the fact of its death appears to sink in. For the rest of the morning, more as an expression of her loss than in hope of finding a survivor, she circles the rocks, calling forlornly. Amazingly, the fourth cub has survived, and against all the odds, its mother has found it. If I had to choose between a long look at a cheetah and a long look at a leopard, I would choose the leopard every single time. The cheetah's very pretty, but the leopard, he's butch, sassy, sensuous, and extremely sexy. I've never seen one in the wild before. This is the first time for me, and I will take that memory with me wherever I go.